Okay, Sherpa. Just trying to make a little bit better video. Um, I'm gonna take this apart, but let y'all have a good look at it. Uh, been watching other YouTube videos. The water in there is from the rain this morning because I'm waiting on you to respond to my uh, video I put on YouTube already. So everything looks pretty normal. I just don't know what's causing my failure on my winch. And I'm going to make another one. Okay. So here are our springs. Set that right there. This gear really looks good to me. Now I pull this one out. That one right there is just really stiff and I don't know why but it is hard to turn I get those two to turn no problem well that one's kind of stiff too but that one's really hard to turn and then I got this so and we got that guy. All those turn really easy. She looks like she's in really good shape. So. I think that brake has got a little bit of wear on it. Um. Pull this guy out. Now remember, if I put something together wrong, just let me know. And, but I've already had this apart from the other day. There's the engagement lock. That's what I thought was clicking the other day, but I, I don't know what was clicking because that looks like it works pretty well. See there. Now take it out. Well, I found some wear right there. All on the same spot on all three cleats. It's pretty smooth. And I'm wondering if I could just turn this gear around and start using these tall ones here. I think I'm going to try to do that. I think that's going to get me going for a little bit. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So looking at these brakes, I don't know how they're supposed to work. But I think it is working. If I turn that to max and then I pull one of these brakes off of here, it looks like I got plenty. See, I put that brake in there and I just turn it like that. And then, try it again. I, I turn, I turn the brake assembly. You know, I take the gear. I turn the brake assembly. And it is not locking up. I don't know if it's supposed to or not at this point. Kind of locks up that away, so maybe that's the direction it's supposed to lock up. Yeah. Okay. So I've got that locked up. I take this one out, and I look, and I'm really, really close right here. 
so I don't know how much more breaking I've got left with this. Just saying. I really think it's uh, slipping, to be honest with you. Yeah, Sherpa, I think uh, I think I might have found what's going on here. That right there is beveled now. That side is not. And then to look at this one here, it's beveled as well. So technically it didn't fail, but uh, I, I was thinking about just turning this ring gear around, but that's just not gonna get it done because, uh, because I have to also be able to hold in reverse as well, so. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh, you can tell me what parts I need to buy. Thanks. Probably not recommended by you guys at Sherpa. But, uh, trying to fix it. Well, it's probably not the best and that part's gonna have to be replaced, but I think it's gonna get me by for now. Hopefully, I can bevel it, or take that bevel out of that ring gear a little better. I think it's still a pretty good fit there. Wish I could lock either side. I wish I could turn this side to the rear. But just a real close look at this one. Okay, Sherpa, so this sprag right here, I kind of freed it up by doing this. But it's still, it's quite, quite difficult to get it turned. 